welcome to another short video about some yeah other method that I came up with that you can use to enhance your graphical appearance of actually any game so it's not uh, specifically bound to Final Fantasy or yeah to, to certain games you can use this for World of Warcraft for uh, the other scrolls online for actually any game that you want to play um, and this is constructed around your graphics card that some sort of puts these shaders onto your graphical appearance so um, it's some sort of works better with your performance uh, in the way that it directly is used by the hardware acceleration of your graphic cards or I, at least I think that it's work it works like that I don't know I'm no expert on that topic um, the, the same thing applies to AMD users as well so there's also an AMD or um, Radeon image sharpening or something like that. I cannot show you that uh, in detail because I don't have an uh, AMD GPU at my disposal. So um, yeah, I think the same logic behind the Nvidia shaders apply to the shaders of AMD graphic cards as well. So let's hop into the thing. Um, there is a default hotkey that is set to Alt Z in my case. So I think it's um, the default hotkey. I haven't changed that. And with that you can open up this overlay. Here you can also broadcast live or um, record your your videos or stuff like that which I use um, GeForce Experience for mostly. Um, but you also got this nice game filter feature which I actually haven't seen until yeah last week where I figured that out. Um, and right now we're using these filters. I made some sort of a preset here and how it looks without these filters, you can just check this, it's, it's not a significant impact because I tweaked it out to be not so impactful on the visual appearance, not too br being too bright or have too, too much contrast or stuff like that. So therefore, let me just show you the difference. So this would be without it. It's a bit muddier, it's the, the colors are not clean, the, the lighting effects are not so brightly. Um, yeah, I think this is the, the main difference here and with having it on you have a much more vivid lighting effect on the, the etherite for example. I think the colors are more natural and um, yeah, the stuff also looks very nice. I think he's, it's glowing very brightly in comparison just to show you again. It's a, a, a better realistic lighting I think. Okay, and um, so if, if you just start this and don't have any clue what to, to change here, um, these are sort of my recommendation settings, but it really looks different on in each screen, so you should tweak them out by yourself. Uh, the color settings are a bit difficult because um, as long as you're sticking to the natural color, you're fine, but you could also go way into something that, that has a different color scheme. Um, I think the tint color is not so impactful here, but for example, if you go on temperature, things are going completely nuts. So um, yeah, make sure that you're not oversaturating anything. The vibrance is just the, the saturation, um, which looks very nice. You could also add something that really impacts your uh, performance. Um, therefore, let's just put up a new filter, for example. Um, what we are doing here, we want to start with sharpen which is just simple sharpening you could ignore the film grain because um, when looking closer at the details of this Piria's face uh, there are some some sharpening yeah points I don't know uh, there yeah you can just put that uh, level up here the ignore film grain and you will get rid of them I think sharpening is different in, in each game so if you're running anti-aliasing on Final Fantasy maybe a high sharpening value could do the deal but uh, as you can see on the background it really gets too sharp uh, in some case so um, yeah also note that this is QHD resolution so it's already very sharp compared to full HD resolution but I think something around 50 is, is quite a good good measure here um, the next one you should definitely add is something about the lighting and therefore go into the brightness and contrast and I think the default settings just make everything a bit more contrastful and, and um, highlight some of the colors but I really like to just go max on this highlight uh, level because 
it will just make some sort of an, an HDR effect or uh, emulate an HDR effect like the G shades are, are doing as well. Um, and the shadows maybe go bit higher and to compensate that as it's not going to to get too dark here you should go on gamma go a bit gamma and now what I made up um, which I really like about everything that uh, the menu is showing because you have to note that this game filters yeah cannot have anything um, to to ignore any menus or the HUD or anything in the interface related stuff um, which G-Shade does, so um, props to the G-Shade creators that, that made this possible. Um, so everything that you change here also interacts with your menu and stuff like that. So always take that into consideration when, when you're trying to, to address the, the lighting effects, for example. These really make a significant impact on your HUD and, and your menus. Okay, uh, what I want to... to work against that dark color or that dark contrast that we now are running um, we have this special effects and this of course looks nice for screenshots this is some sort of a retro FX but I think for we're, we're talking about gameplay so this is nothing that should work on your gameplay the the biggest issue that you have with this is that let me just show you it just curves your your hut and at the moment it just looks weird and um, doesn't look very very nice here. Um, so let's just work with the hub for, for a moment. And to show you what I mean when not losing a significant performance or uh, having a significant impact on your performance, back to the shaders again and with the... we turn this down. For example, this is what I meant. Ah damn it, we just closed the menu, I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Um, to to check out the frames rate we also need to put it on this one if you want to limit frame rates when client is inactive you always have to adjust that if you want to change something out of Final Fantasy which actually is not a window that's laying upon Final Fantasy it's actually a, a separate window so um, yeah take that to note and when we're just closing this or turning it off it's not impacting the FPS at all, as you can see. It's not a, an impact that you could feel. So um, I think this is the biggest advantage over G-Shade because it just works with the software, with the graphic cards you're already using for yeah, just playing the game. So this is a really a game changer when you want some sort of a, a higher vibrance or a better sharpening effect upon your screen or your graphical appearance what by also not costing too much performance so um, yeah this is I think a bit too high already so we need to go here and maybe put up the sketch effect I really like that it also um, makes your inventory not shine so brightly um, and also yeah unlocks some certain details on, on, on some textures in the background of the, the menu, for example. I really like that. I just tweaked that to 15 or something like that. Um, but as you can see, we're still a bit too sharp, in, in my opinion. So you could also go really into it, and this would definitely decrease your performance. So depth of field is something that works heavily on your performance. Um, but of course, you're getting way more details in the background. I don't think that when when talking about a performance, oh damn it, we just removed one too much. Special effects, yeah, here we are. It's our preset again. Um, then you can go on the color section, like I told, it's natural, a bit too blue, I think. Therefore, go into the, the temperature, maybe about. Ah, oh, it's it's just you cannot adjust this uh, clearly. As long as you're... Yeah, I don't know. I cannot do any small steps here. It looks like that. Yeah, I cannot do that. So maybe you can do this on the tint intensity or just disable that. Uh, I don't know. You, you could check this for yourself. It depends heavily on your monitor settings and your screen settings on the color saturation that you're already using in, in NVIDIA um, settings or what else. Or your, from, from your monitor itself. 
Um, yeah, that highly depends on this. It takes some time to just make a clean interface that you're absolutely profound with and that you like. But as you can see, we're, we already got a visual difference that is significant. It's really significant and the performance difference is actually not really noticeable. So uh, yeah, I really think that this should be running all the time. In my case, I really like to have this running all the time um, as it doesn't impact my performance in a negative way or in a way that I feel about it or I, I realize that. So um, yeah, if you don't want to go in that completely or too heavily with, with sharpening and stuff like that. Um, yeah, find the perfect settings for yourself, not too vibrant, not too um, too bright maybe. Uh, it doesn't work for, for all cutscenes of course, like always when you're going in a bit brighter scheme, a bit brighter scales on the graphical appearance. But um, yeah, in general it, it's really a nice feature and you can adjust this to any game. You just need to run the game and being focused on that game, your, your computer needs to be in focus uh, onto that game and if you did so, you can just um, open up the menu with the, the preset, uh, game filters and then um, head to this one. Otherwise, you could also get uh, into the software itself. Um, let me just get there, go to settings and then go to keyboard shortcuts and here you could change that um, how you would, would change your game filters or how to, to open up the, the menu and um, yeah by just doing that I think it's Alt Z yeah open close in-game overlay you could also directly use this um, and open up the the menu itself the game filters menu yeah and with this I think you can easily increase your graphical performance or your graphical appearance while not hitting up a significant loss of performance. So this is really a nice feature of uh, our graphic cards companies. Um, I think AMD has the same feature. I don't know if, if that's in the same way or working in the same way. I think they also changed that. It's, I think it's kind of new. I, I really think they haven't got this from, from the early time of being. So this should be quite a new feature. I'm not sure about that. You could. Uh, have a better knowledge about this but I guess this is quite a new feature so this is the difference that we're talking about and I think the performance are just around 3 to 4 FPS that we lose and when being around 100 FPS or when you play around with 60 FPS that really doesn't make a notable dis uh, difference so yeah Thank you guys for, for watching, I hope this short video could help you in, in yeah, increasing your overall um, visual appearance of your, of your screen a bit. Uh, I really like to use these for having a bit more color saturation, having a true natural lighting effect from, from all the um, elements or all the objects that emanate some sort of lighting and stuff like that. And yeah, I really like that, I'm glad that I found out about it to uh, yeah, actually it works perfectly uh, together with G-Shade. Just let me show you this in the last moment. Um, together with G-Shade, this perfectly um, works together with my presets. So we're having a bit more clear details. But of course, as you can see, we're losing 30 FPS. So um, this is perfectly fine for screenshots or stuff like that. And um, I think you cannot get this blurring effect with the NVIDIA G-Shades in, in that detailed or in that um, yeah in that good result but it, you can fix that out and, and try it out to, to configure something um, out of yourself so uh, check it out use it um, try out some settings here and yeah enjoy the difference thank you all for watching see you guys in another video maybe up in two days or three days, I'm not sure about it. Uh, and see you in some live streams on Twitch. Until then, take care and keep loving Final Fantasy.